I wonder what my parents did to fight boredom before the internet. I asked me 18 brothers and sisters, but they don't know either. <laughs> oh, for that, no, don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Quick video today. The full release of Cody 20.0 Nexus is now in full release. And I'm just going to simply show you how you can install it quick and easy. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I am on the 4K Fire Stick Max, but this is going to work the same on any Amazon device and also Android TV devices. And what I will say as well is a lot of people used to say Cody is dead, Cody is rubbish now. I just want to say it's still absolutely brilliant so first of all you're going to want an app called download i'm guessing most of you have already got this if not go into the devices app store start typing it in you will see it underneath there once you click it that's the app you want to install once we've installed that go across open it up if it is your first time opening download and make sure to allow any permissions it asks for otherwise it won't download simply click up to this search bar and you can visit letscrackon.org or type in the short code 71940 and then click on go. Give it a couple of moments. Once that's finished, we can click on the menu in the top left hand corner and click where it says downloads. If you do get an advert here, just click on the cross button and then we're going to scroll down the page until we see media players and then as you can see here it says Cody and we've also got the 64-bit version there as well but you're going to want just where it says Cody the 32-bit version click on that scroll down the page until you see the download button ding dangly do it'll start downloading once that's finished simply follow the install prompts now if this does ask you to allow unknown sources and you can't find developer options I'll put a video in the top corner now because Amazon did remove that but there is a way to get it back but I'm guessing most of you already have this available. Once it's installed, we're going to click on done. Then what we want to do is click delete and delete again. We no longer need that file. That's only the installation file. So now we're going to back out of there, go to his applications, scroll down. And as you can see, there you go, continue. And then it's as easy as that. The full release, Cody 20, installed on your device. Ding dang do. And now, as I say, a lot of people do think Cody's run its course and it's no longer worth using, but you will find a lot of people have gone back to using it because it is still very good. And what I will say is, as always, if you like streaming from unofficial sources and apps, it's always handy to use a VPN. If you haven't already got a VPN, I will leave a link in the description down below. And what a VPN does is it simply changes your IP address and it stops your internet service providers seeing what you're watching and streaming. And it also changes your IP address for your privacy. But like I say, a link in the description down below. They are affiliated links. And if you do use my links, I want to say thank you very much. They do help support the channel. And what I will say is comment down below, do you use... Cody, did you used to use it? Do you use it now? What do you think of it? Right, so yeah, I hope that video has helped at least two people because then the video was worth making. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!